guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Maxine and today is going to be another food video. I realize how much I enjoy doing these types of videos. So today I'm going to be making Korean corn dogs. There's actually no corn in this recipe and I'm not going to be using hot dogs because I don't like anything sausagey or in the sausage family food wise. So yeah, I'm just going to be using mozzarella sticks. I got my ingredients here and let's get started. So I'm just prepping some of the stuff here and I'm gonna be using this pan to, to fry the corn dogs in and canola oil. So you just wanna make sure that there's enough oil to cover the corn dogs. Okay, this is kind of difficult. Make sure you pierce it through the center. such a fail. Okay, let's try this again. So the batter should be thicker now because I added more flour. Yep, so it's actually sticking to... So I figured out a little trick here. So as you're putting the panko, this is just a mess. As you're putting on the panko and the potatoes, just make sure you're molding it. Anyways, that one's a fail. But that's what I did with these guys. So they're actually staying and looking more like a corn dog. It's so hot. I am sweating like a pig. That is the final product. That was a lot of work. So let's hope it was worth it. Let's give these a try. I picked the prettiest ones. Um, I tried to squiggle it nicely when I put the condiments on, but it didn't turn out so well. So I put some sriracha mayo on this one here. So I just mixed sriracha and mayonnaise. And then these two just have the ketchup and the mayo. So I'm gonna give this one a try first because it's the the prettiest. Mmm. Mmm, that's so good. There's no cheese pull though. I really like the batter. You can taste a little bit of the sweetness from the sugar. Nope. No cheese pull. So this is the one with the potato. They get really cold easily. The next thing we're gonna try is the plain one. This is just the breadcrumb or the batter with the panko breadcrumbs. Let's hope there's a cheese pull for this. No cheese pull. No cheese pull, but that's okay. It's actually really good guys. I like the one with the potato more. The breading, the batter turned out really nice. I kind of over fried this one though. This one's a hefty one. No cheese pull. Maybe if I ate it right when I made it, the cheese probably would have been a bit more meltier. 
more melted. So there were some that actually fell right, fell off the stick. So I just made, uh, I just kept frying them and then I'm probably gonna munch on the little pieces of batter and fried cheese later. Eat the plain one first. Mm. This one's good, but I definitely prefer it with a bit of uh, mayo. So. Mmm, that crunch though. The potato on its own, just like fried, good. You can probably like make little balls out of this. So if you just cut up the mozzarella, coat it in batter, mold it into a ball and just deep fry it, that alone is probably good. I think that was a success. Thank you so much for, oh God, I'm so full, sorry. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you get a chance, give this recipe a try. I'll leave it down below. Please like and subscribe my channel. And I hope to see you guys on the next video.